Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Magical World of Dark Souls. Today we begin the DLC and I have been dreading this. Absolutely dreading it. <laughs> this place is going to beat the crap out of me. It really is. Jesus. Anyway, so all we have left to do is the four bosses in the DLC. The boss in the Painted World and Gwendolyn. Then we will have done it. We will have beaten every boss in the game at level 1 with no summoning whatsoever and no starting gift. Then we will be a complete badass despite my immense ineptitude along the way. Oh look, a magical portal of wonder and mystery and darkness. We should touch it because that seems like a good idea to me. Well, dude, bad trip, man. My head, it's it's like so fuzzy. Oh my god. Anyway, so now we're in the DLC and spoilers, it's in the past. The past, the past. Oh my god, it's the past. Now, we are about to be confronted by our first boss of the DLC almost immediately. And by almost immediately, I mean completely immediately. It's about 10 feet in front of us. And this thing is by far and away the easiest one of the four. But that doesn't mean he's easy. Oh, no, no, no. If this guy ain't easy, and we're level one on top of that, so he's probably gonna kill me. I'd be very happy if he didn't, but it probably ain't gonna happen. Right, he's got a hell of a lot of lightning attacks. This one thinks a big, yes, it's a big bolt of lightning. We don't want to get stuck doing that shit. We're going in close to him, and as you can see, he has a hell of a lot of range attacks to keep us at a distance. He's just extremely quick, so you know that's a thing. Now my goal here, jump attack, is that I want to detail every single boss that we can. Now, the thing with this boss is he does technically respawn. When you kill- oh, you dick. When you kill him and come back, there'll be two in his place and they do respawn. So I could get the tail that way. But damn it, I'm gonna do my very best to get the tail off of this guy as a fucking- you bastard. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I get the tail off of this one as opposed to the other two. That's it. No, I'm married this time. It's personal. Right, stop doing your goddamn rank attacks on me. Get over here. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. That's a bad whatever the hell you're supposed to be. Why did they hit me? That's some bullshit. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. Right. Jump attack. Get that freaking tail. Right. We got a good hit on the tail. It's not off, but it's a good hit. We might be able to get in one more hit. Let's get around behind the bastard. And Roger him. Oh, you know, he can fly away. I want to fly away. I want to get out someday. I have to keep my HP as full as possible because you may have noticed. He has one hit me, so you know that's a thing. Yes! Got the goddamn tail. Suck it. Suck it good. <laughs> so we got a couple of hits in on his ass as well. That was nice. The Majestis. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Justice has most definitely been served. Oh, come on. Stand. No, no. That's a bad sanctuary, Gotti. You stand still and you take your fire like a man, like a like a white lion with wings and a scorpion tail. Whatever the hell you're supposed to be, take it like one of those. That's right, come at me, bro. That is not coming at me, that is the exact opposite. That is the polar opposite. Oh, do oh, Don't do that. That's the opposite of coming at me. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, who's a good boy? That's right, I have Scooby Snacks. Well, you're a dog. But, you know, I, I don't know what the hell you are. Burn, bitch. Burn. Oh, damn it. Why did I go for it? Don't do that. That's the one thing you cannot do in Dark Souls, you cannot get impatient, you have to bide your time. It's biding its time! Wait for an opening, and then go! And then go for it, you'll get good enough! Okay, now's our chance! Yes! <laughs> oh man, that felt good, you have no idea! I have never died to that guy so many goddamn times. That was ridiculous. Absolutely 100% ridiculous. My god, by the way, the uh, soul of the Sanctuary Guardian, it's the only soul in the game that doesn't actually do a damn thing. You can't make any weapons or armor or anything out of it. It's just uh, for crunching for souls. 
Some people like to keep them so they can keep track of what new game they're on. So, you know, if you have like six Sanctuary Guardian Souls, you know you're on new game six or seven or whatever the balls you're on. I don't freaking know. I'm going to turn human very quickly and then we will go talk to that weird looking mushroom person over there. Because, you know, that's a thing. It has been done! Let us speak to the mushroom person. Hello! Well, look at this one. From what far away age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Ah, Princess Dusk's savior. Thine aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness. But Princess Dusk is here no longer. Snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. And so I must ask, couldst thou once more play the savior? Thank you. I am Elizabeth, guardian of this sanctuary. Something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. I shall assist thee to my utmost, for I am one with the sorceries of Ulysseel. The whole of Ulysseel! And yes, she sells some stuff. You can uh, buy repair powder and some gold pine resin. Gold pine resin, as you know, culture weapon and lightning. And the repair powder is just a way that you can repair your weapon or, uh, yes, I think it's only for your weapon when you're not at a bonfire because you're getting invaded or whatever. And she sells these things. That chameleon there, that is pot magic. That's how you turn to a bloody pot, so there you go. If you want to turn to a pot, get freaking chameleon. I believe uh, Dusk sells May it as the well. flames guide thee. Come on, come on, come on, chameleon. Red, gold, and green, red, gold, and green. Thank goodness thou art safe. What is thy wish? I offer thee my all. Okay, baby, spread your legs. I've never Thou done it with a mushroom. See further on, an abyss was begat of the ancient beast, and threatens to swallow the whole of Ulysseel. Knight Artorius came to stop this, but such a hero has nary a murmur of dark. Without doubt, he will be swallowed by the abyss, overcome by its utter blackness. Indeed, the abyss may be unstoppable. Still, I have faith. That Princess Dusk may be rescued yet. Well, your faith is not well placed. May the, flame... may the flames guide thee, flame of justice. Okay, I'm gonna repair my shit because it is all in disarray, and then we will venture into the magical forest of wonder and mystery and death. Mostly death, and you know, probably die. Alrighty, all our stuff is repaired, and we are ready to venture into the magical forest of death. We are gonna die. <laughs> Repairing my equipment ain't gonna make a damn difference to my survival, but it makes me feel a little bit safer if nothing else. Uh, you see those gardener dudes on the top of that hill up there? They are gonna kill me. Maybe not specifically those two, but generally speaking the gardeners are going to kill me. I always die to these bastards, even on my high level character, so... You know, if you like what you mean, die. You, you're in for a treat. Boy, are you in for a treat, right? Come at me, bros. And jump attack. Why did I do that? As soon as I did that, I knew that was a bad idea. Now we're very long. Okay, stay away from me. Gotta be real careful. You can fall down on the right very easily and die. I've done that more than once. It's embarrassing. Oh, can I marry that shit? It's embarrassing. Oh, he almost went off the edge. Bastard. Okay, there are big stone giants around here as well. And uh, they are much more dangerous than the gardeners. They also have a hell of a lot of physical defense. There's one over there. Be quiet, mates. He hasn't seen us yet. Maybe we can sneak up on the bastard and surprise him. I do apologize. That was a really terrible Steve Irwin impression. You'd think as an Englishman, I'd be able to do one, but no, I cannot do an Australian accent. I just can't do it. I like I say, damn it, I tried. Right, we gotta sneak up on him. You can't backstab him because he's a giant, but we can do this. Flame of justice. Okay, he's mad. Oh, and he's got a gardener buddy. Right, we gotta take out the gardener buddy first. Oh, da -da 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 okay, that was very, very close. We gotta take out the garden body first so that we limit the numbers when we just got one guy on us. Much less likely to die. It doesn't mean it ain't gonna happen, but it's much less likely at the very least. Okay. They have a huge arc on that swing. You have to be very careful. Okay, I think jump attack is dead. <laughs> Suck on that, you giant stone freak. Right, I'm gonna pop a humanity just so we actually get some drop rate because these guys can drop Twinkle and Tide Knight and a bunch of other stuff. And booty is pretty damn awesome, so just for the off chance that we might actually get something, I think it's worth it. We've got plenty of humanity. We've got plenty. By the way, check that out. How goddamn awesome does that look? 
That's the Colosseum that has been wrecked and ravaged by the Abyss. That's what all that blue stuff is. That is the remnants of the Abyss. We will learn more about that later. Don't you worry about it. Right, so this is a shortcut, but we haven't opened it up yet. We have to go quite a ways to open that up. Now, up here, if I can ever get up the goddamn staircase, you know. <laughs> God damn, that was annoying. Are uh, the Guardian Gauntlets, this is the armor that those big stone dudes are wearing. I'm pretty sure I remember where the rest of the armor is. I could be wrong, I don't know. We'll see, honey. We'll see. Now, we got to go over on the right, and of course, everyone is now alerted. So, I think we should probably kill them, because, uh, oh shit. That's not good. That is very bad, in fact. Let me heal, let me heal, let me heal. Okay. Please, let me heal. Okay, so I was gonna say, if I just run away from these guys, I'll end up getting surrounded by a bazillion of them. You dick. By a bazillion of them and just dying. So it's probably best that we fight them. Right. The elusive gardener is down. Just the stone giant buddy to take care of. Don't kill me. Please, God, I don't want to run away. Oh, damn it. I didn't know I was gonna do a double attack. No, 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 don't kill me. Please just die. Just die for the love of God. Okay, he's dead, we're alive. Hey, we got Twinkly Tina, see? It was worth using that humanity. <laughs> right. Now here's the problem. I know where we're going, you know the general direction, but, uh, jump attack. There's a million people in the way, and we should probably fight them. Oh, shit, that's not good. Die, die, die quicker. Oh, that was insanely close. My god, I might, I might crap my pants a little bit there. Well, that's not good. We did ragdoll his buddy, though, so that's a thing. Heal up. Just drink that freaking Estus like your life depends on it, because it does. Okay, get out of there and beat that ass. Beat that ass, baby. Don't hit me. For goodness sakes, I don't think I can take no more. I stands all I can stand, and I can't stand no more. Uh, go, 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 go. Okay, <laughs> I need my spinach. Right, heal up. My Estus is my spinach. I am strong to the finish because I drink my Estus, I'm Popeye the Sailor Man, put put! <laughs> okay, despite everything, we are uh, 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 staying alive, staying alive, okay. This is not good, I feel like all three of these are going to come at me at the same time, see if we can lure them out one at a time. Come on, come on buddy, come on, oh shit, <laughs> damn it, I knew that was going to happen, right, take one out, jump attack, there we go. Now it's your turn buddy, it's your turn. Come on, you should not be moving slower than that stone giant. Come at me quicker. There we go. Both of those guys down. What do we get? We get some purple moss. Yummy! <laughs> and it's your turn, you big stone bastard. God, I love jump attacking these. Oh, shit! No fucking way. That was some bullshit. <laughs> Damn it. Retrieval! There we go. I got my souls back. I'm a soul man! I kind of killed my throat doing that. <laughs> there we go. Right, now I think the way we're going is over on the right. There should be a bridge, I think? Yes, I see it. Sanctuary. That's where we're going. That is where we are going. We've got to drop down here onto these orangey yellow flowers. Now we can head over on the right. But, as you would expect, there's a million enemies. So, I'm going to try and sneak up on this guy. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Shit! I did not see you there. That's bad. That's very... Now, now we're in trouble. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh god. Oh god. This... This couldn't possibly be any worse. Save me, Fireball! That's not saving me, that's killing one enemy, I need you to kill them all. There's a bloody stone giant coming as well. Suck it, you bastard. Don't hit me, okay. Gotta be real careful on that swing, you have to roll really, really late. That's the mistake I was making before, okay. Two stone giants, one gardener, I think we can do it. Yes, I've got the gardener. What a shot. Oh shit, there's more, there's three of the bastards. Three? Seriously? Well, okay. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what to do. I I'm panicking. I'm panicking. This doesn't normally happen. Normally, I know exactly where I'm going in Dark Souls. The DLC kind of screws me. How did that not hit the gardener? Hit the gardener, goddammit. Oh, I need to heal, and I... I, I oh, oh, God. Oh, okay. Right. Um, Yeah. I uh, Maybe we should try and finish off the stone giant, because he's very low on HP, as opposed to the gardener. Oh, screw it. The gardener's coming. Right, the gardener's down. Good shot, buddy. I like it. And that guy got freaking launched into orbit. Right, so this should just be one stone giant. Where'd he go? You know what, I don't care. Grab it. There are the Guardian leggings. Holy crap. Hey, and we got something. And apparently he fell through the ground. Because, you know, that's Dark Souls. When you're playing at 60 FPS, everything falls through the goddamn ground like you're playing Fallout 3. All right, give me my booty. That was batshit insane. And I can't believe I actually survived that. I'm a little bit proud of myself, but it was also extremely fluky. And no, I don't know why I want to kill these guys, but something inside me compels me to do so. That was a poor, poor jump attack. Let's try again. Oh. <laughs> that, 
Nope, that was considerably worse than the first time. And now they are basically teabagging me. Well, damn. Whoop whoop, give them our souls. Okay, we've got them. Burn. Oh, three for one on fireballs. Today's special. Everything must go. Okay, right, there's one more left. Oh, okay, it's the bloody stone giant again. Let's get rid of this guy, no more messing around, we go across the Bridge of Doom and finally finish this goddamn area instead of dying all of the time. Don't do that again. That was what killed me before, you complete dick. Don't hit me. There we go, the stone giant's down, now we can go across the bridge and finally proceed. Holy crap, what a comedy of errors this has been today. Tactical roll, and there it is, there's the bridge. And there's Black Dragon killing me. What's up, buddy? And yes, that big freaking dragon there is Black Dragon Kalami, one of the four bosses in the DLC, as you might expect. You cannot fight him, however, until you've killed Artorius, which is the guy we're going to kill next. Uh, you can't even fight Kalami before Manus or afterwards. Depends on whatever the hell you want to do. It don't matter. It don't matter, man. You can do whatever you want. I usually fight him last. I don't know why. Probably because for me personally, Kalami gives me the most trouble. I know most people find either Manus or Artorius harder, but me... Calamy beats the shit out of me harder than anyone. Probably more than Ornstein and Smoke, quite honestly. So yeah, to sound oh god, to sound not looking forward to that fight would be an understatement. And of course, I'm gonna try and cut his tail off. So uh, yeah, you can expect me to die to Calamy a ridiculous amount of times. It will happen, and it will suck. I guarantee you. There's an item over here. I believe this may be part of the. I think it's the chest plate. I think I know where the helmet is. I think the helmet's down the other end on the left. So I think the chest plate is over here somewhere. There's also a crystal lizard up there, but you can't see him. He may have disappeared by now. Jump attack! I'm freaking no. Come here, you son of a bitch. Stop trying to shovel me. Scum? That's right. Get out of here. What is this? Is this the chest? I got a feeling this is not actually the chest plate. Are you the chest plate? No, it's a large silver prana. Where the hell's the chest plate? <laughs> Damn it, I don't remember. Damn you, brain. You're terrible. You're just terrible. Is it over here, maybe? Maybe that's the crystal lizard I was talking about. He's gonna try and run away when we get near him. Where the hell is the chest plate? I really don't remember. Like, God damn it. That's really irritating. That was a horrible jump. Oh, now I've missed him. Man, I am playing like shit today. I, I just, I'm really not on form right now. Not that I ever really am on form, but I'm usually at least a little bit better than this. Oh, God. Hey, I actually blocked an attack. Amazing. Okay. Please got done with that thing out of the ground. I'm so paranoid about that since I died to that before. Oh, shit. Well, there's two of them. I should probably won't run away and just open up the shortcut, but I feel compelled to do it just for into Oh, shit. Back up. Go, go, go. Okay. Heal up. I feel like there's going to be a farm behind me of a pitchfork up my rectum. Okay. Amazingly, there wasn't. I feel compelled to do this. Shit. For entertainment purposes. But I'm really regretting this now. <laughs> Why? Why did I do it? <laughs> Come back here, you little bastard. You're not getting away from me so easily. Jump attack. You're mine. Right, give me my souls. Oh, don't hit me, don't hit me. Okay. We're still alive. I got my souls. That's something. Right, now we need to get that fuck out of dodge. Oh, wow. That literally grazed my ass cheeks. Now, run. Don't look back. Don't stop. Just freaking run. Open up that shortcut, you complete badass stretch. Part one of the shortcut is opened up. We are healed up. Now, I really shouldn't do this. But I want my sweet, sweet revenge. Sweet, sweet candy. Now, <laughs> this is a really, really bad idea. I want to stress that. I should just leave. But, God damn it! I need to... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Going down? <laughs> I want some revenge for the amount of goddamn times these guys killed me or just, you know, flatten me like that. That's right, come here and I'm gonna puff the magic dragon. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna miss you. Shit! I just sent that down. Well, now we're in trouble. I can't really move. <laughs> That's right. Just get around the side. Please don't come around here. Oh, yes. Are they dead? Please. Yeah. <laughs> Most unintentional kills ever. And I'll say, oh, come on. Their bodies fell through. I can't loot them anymore. That sucks. Oh, I am so mad. Okay, I promise you I will go down. But first, I want to show you this Colosseum because you get a better view of it over here. Check that out. How awesome does that look? And if you look down there, that's the entrance to Artorius' boss room. Yes, we are going to be fighting him in that Colosseum. How awesome.
Okay, we are down, safe and sound. Now, the shortcut isn't actually opened. We have to go uh, over on the right and open up the other bit. Then that will take us back to where we got the gauntlets back in the first area. Yes, that is still a hell of a long run from the bonfire back where that mushroom is. Yes, that's Dark Souls for you. Sometimes you have to run a bloody long way to get back to where you died. Hmm. Ah, let me guess. Snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past. Yes, of course. Exactly what happened to me. We are both strangers in this strange land. But at least now there are two of us. I love this guy. It's called Marvelous Chester. He's wearing a top hat and a waistcoat with like an evil looking clown mask on. It looks like the mask out V from Vendetta. If that's not awesome, then I don't know what is. He doesn't sell anything too particularly important. He literally sells nothing that other NBCs don't sell anyway. So you can just kill him and you can get his gear. But we ain't going to be doing that just yet. But we will come back and get him eventually because uh, I want that freaking top hat, man. I want that top hat. Did you happen across Knight Artorias? The legendary Abyss Walker from the old tales. Well, if you haven't, it's just as well. He's a colorless sort, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. So long. How are you, Chester? Right, let's open up the shortcut. Like I said, it's still a hell of a long run to get back here, but it's still quicker than the other way. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Next time, we will take on Night Artorias and continue our magical journey in the DLC. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I always appreciate it when you click on the like button. And I will see you guys next time for more Dark Souls.